Tonight we uh, kicked off the initial lecture series. Tonight's speaker is Michael Matz, former Olympian, uh, hero, racehorse trainer, all around good guy. And this is something we'll do here at the club on Thursdays about every other week throughout this polo season. Thank you for having me here tonight and uh, I want to just share some of my experience with the show jumping into racing and now I'm helping my children a little bit more with show jumping. When you do the Olympics you always have a team captain for each discipline. Uh, our team captain was Robert Dover and you pick somebody in your delegation to be represent and then they go to meetings and they just want somebody to carry the flag and uh, Robert called and said uh, you're carrying the flag. I said, Robert, I said, nah, don't get around like that. That's not funny to get around. He goes, no, you're carrying the flag. I said, well, I said, well, what did you say? He said, I'm telling, I'm not going to tell you what I said, but I'm going to tell you that the last guy that got up was for track and field. And he said, this guy has been around here for 20 years. He said, he can last much longer. He said, so let's vote for him. So. They stopped and they voted and that was it. So I got to carry the flag. I had a horse called Barbaro and uh, so we never really found out how good he really was. The first race he had at Delaware, he was just by far the best horse in the, in, in the race. And we ran him right away in a stake race at Laurel, the Laurel Futurity. And he just won that really easily. And, and, and these are still races on the turf. And it wasn't necessarily that we thought he was a turf horse, but he was ready to run at that point, and we wanted to run him around two turns. And uh, he was by Dynaformer, who is a very big horse, not a very attractive horse, and a very mean horse. And this horse was just the opposite. He was elegant, he was, you know, just, you know, just a wonder, wonderful horse. The third start was the uh, um, turf race, and that was the first of the, January, uh, January the 1st, so they just turned three years old, and that was still on the turf. And uh, we ran him in that, and he won again very easily, so he was a horse that you had a lot of confidence in. I was training for breeders, which is fine, I enjoyed it, I, I, I love the people that I trained for. And, uh, but it's just, it's just hard to do, to get colts to run there. I was very lucky to have Barbaro. I had a horse called Union Rags that was very, very good. Uh, and that horse won the Belmont. Won the Belmont. So uh, I certainly can't complain at the time I was doing it. And now my children are riding and I'm helping them with their horses. And uh, my wife and I are helping them. And uh, you know that's a lot of fun too. So going back and forth between the show jumping and the racing, it's been a, you know, one very good career for me. I wish I could say my career is going this way, but it's probably leveling off and going this way. But that, that's part of it, so I'm enjoying it.